Like yeah. your data is worth more than gold and people just give it away for free. And, and you can watch some of my videos online, but I talk a lot about like, I'll give you an example. You go to TSA and you check in for your flight. Now, every time they want to take your picture, that's biometric. Yeah. That's biometric data. And you can just say, no, you know, I, I just say, no, I don't want my photo taken. Every time that photo is collected, they're collecting your biometric information. Every time you use a thumbprint on your phone, that's biometric information. If somebody accesses that information, that's your unique ID that, you know, once it's accessed or compromised. So I encourage people, especially when it comes to biometric eye scans, hand scans, you know, you can pay with it. I have a video on that. Do not do that. Do not opt into those things because if it gets hacked, compromised, or accessed, now you're, and I don't know if you saw this news, B3 and me, they went bankrupt. I have a video on them. They are now selling all of the data that they have collected. So if you did a 23andMe test, part of their bankruptcy sale is selling all of that data to a company. And the investors are thrilled because they're like, now we're going to get some money back. But anybody who signed up for that, and somebody bought it for me, and I was like, hell no. Yeah. Your DNA data, again, it's your unique identifier. Anything that's unique to you, do not just give it away for free. Opt out of it. Because if that gets accessed, you really can't get it back. So how do we protect ourselves from from that? Is As technology grows and grows, it's going to push further and further to that, you know. So is there going to be a tipping point where, like, it's not your data anymore? Like, because uh, I, I know that, like, there's they're talking about implants and all kinds of crazy stuff in the in the AI world. And uh, how does how does that work all into that? And it's really per people's personal choice, right? If we all go in and say, okay, yeah, let's scan our hands, let's scan our eyes. If it's acceptable to people, um, I don't think they're going to see the repercussions of it till like maybe years later. Right. But if people don't opt into these things, I, I'm shocked at the airport that people just walk up and everyone's like, here, where do I look? And I'm like, I'm just shocked because I've seen the dark side of how this data is used. Yeah. 